Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, ready to react to a brand new series release called Star Wars Forces of Destiny. Now, I uh, don't know a whole lot about this, I know that it's going to focus on female characters, and that it's uh, going to be voiced by a couple of original actresses, like Jamie Ridley's coming back, Lupita Nyong'o's coming back, uh, Felicity Jones, and a couple more, so excited to get into this. Alright, let's try it out. This first one is called Sands of Jakku. The choices we make, the actions we take, no? moments, That's Mars. both big and small, shape us into forces of destiny. Grace team. Until someone comes back for you, you can stay with me. Huh. Kojima. I guess I was kind of hoping that it would be uh, more Come similarly on, related to like the Clone Wait, Wars and Rebel styles of animation. That's a Night Watcher one. It feeds on junk. <laughs> now we run. Remember that thing? It probably hasn't eaten today. We need to find something else to feed it. It eats junk. Huh? That's what that thing looks like. Uh. Keep moving, BB-8. Reminds me of the Dianoga from uh, episode four, which of course is what they're going for. The End, directed by George Lucas. <laughs> A little bit of the force right there. We're safe now. How did I find you? I'm just lucky, I guess. Oh, Unlike weird. you, my little friend. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, it was definitely very brief. Not a whole lot happened there. Um, it was kind of cool getting to see the little Kojima creature from what he actually looks like underneath the surface, although truth be told, I kind of wish I never did because that's kind of what made those kinds of creatures like the Dianoga and the Trash Game so effective, is that your imagination fills in the blanks. But um, okay, so I'm going to move straight on to the next one because I think like four of them have come out since they started it and I'm behind, so I'm just going to try and react to all of them today. And well, this next one is called BB-8 Bandits to be another Ray story. The choices we make, the actions we take, moments, both big and small, shape us into forces of destiny. We're heading to Lima Outpost. If someone's looking for you, we'll find them there. Okay, so this is right after, right after they meet. What? Tito. We've come back, but I won't let him get you. <laughs> Tito comes back, eh? <laughs> Tito's that little guy who initially tried to capture BB-8, in case you don't remember. Yeah, 
He was running like a weird do back thing though. When did he? I guess he just went home, came back with a speeder. <laughs> Yeah, they're willing to they're willing to kill this poor girl over some uh, some junk droid. Times must really be tough on Jakku. Yes. Yes. Exactly like with the night watch worm. Let's go pay him a visit. The night watch worm. I remember the night watch worm cuz I watched it 30 seconds ago. Give up the halfling, she elf. Oh, just wait for it. I'm sure this is going to work. Cartula. He's back. Yep. Good thinking, Ray. Good thinking. Oh. Uh, that was an acclay. Hold on. That was an acclay noise. I like these. They're they're short and sweet, and uh, yeah, they're canon as far as I understand. So it's kind of a cool way to fill in the blanks. This is what Ray's up to while the cameras were focused on Finn and Poe, you know, or, or wherever they happen to be. Done. Cool. That Night Watch Worm definitely made a random acclay noise, though. Let's go back and watch that a second time. Okay, so here's the Night Watch Worm. And here's the acclay. How's that for an intergalactic coincidence? These videos are pretty fun. I'm enjoying the voice acting. Uh, not quite sold on the animation yet, but you know, it's always fun to get more canon Star Wars stories. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment if you got something to say, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.